of the things that I love so much about the book is the inclusion of your personal journey along with all the really intricate research. It's such an honor to be able to celebrate it. When Oscar V.A. alone from the stage said, and the winner is Imani Perry. Um, what was the first thing that went through your mind? I, I have a strong sense of sort of connection with, with um, the people who I love who, um, who have transitioned. And so I sort of, you know, so I would say like, I felt, you know, the kind of warm embrace of my dad and my grandmother, my aunties. I just, it, it, it was, there was a kind of um, uh, otherworldliness and a kind of spiritual, kind of spiritual warmth that I felt and being tended to. What's one piece of writing advice you'll never forget? My high school uh, writing seminar teacher, Philip McFarland, taught us to vary the length of sentences. And in particular, when you want to have a sentence that has a serious impact, to keep it short and tight. And it is one of these sort of indispensable pieces of writing advice. And I also read his work as I was, as I was, as I was writing South to America. What do you think of as your superpower and how do you use it in your writing? My superpower is people will tell me their stories. Um, strangers tell me their stories. And uh, um, and I think that there are, for whatever reason, part of what I'm here to do is to share other people's stories. And so I think that's why I have that um, dead impact. I write for my people. I write because we children of the lash scarred, rope choked, bullet ridden, desecrated are still here standing. I write for the field holler, the shout, the growl, the singer, the signer, and the signified. I write for the sinned against and the sanctifying. I write for the ones who clean the toilets and till the soil and walk the picket lines. For the hungry, the cage, the disregarded, the holding on, I write for you. I write because I love sentences and I love freedom more.